Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. A binary operation star is defined by x star y is equal to the sum of x and y divided by 1 plus x times y. Evaluate the following. First evaluate 2 star 3, take the result star 4, take the result star 5, and so on, and the pattern continues until the final operation which is the result star 2021. I thank Boomi for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve a problem like this, you want to start out by evaluating some examples. What is 2 star 3? It's equal to the sum of 2 and 3 divided by 1 plus 2 times 3. This is equal to 5 over 7. For the next operation, we take 5 over 7 star 4. We substitute in, and then we simplify to get the result 11 over 9. We then want 11 over 9 star 5. We substitute in and get the result of 7 over 8. We then want 7 over 8 star 6. This is equal to 11 over 10. We now search for a pattern in these results. Notice in the first two fractions, the denominator and the numerator differ by 2. So let's rewrite the last two results. 7 over 8 is equal to 14 over 16, and 11 over 10 is equal to 22 over 20. Let's say the first result is a3, the next result is a4, then we have a5 and a6. So after studying these fractions, we can come up with the following pattern. We will hypothesize that an is equal to the following. We have n multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1, all over n multiplied by n plus 1 over 2 plus 1. So this is the sum of numbers to n minus 1 in the numerator, and the sum of the numbers to n plus 1 for the denominator. And this is for n being an odd number. If we have an even number, we'll flip the numerator and denominator. So this holds for all of the examples we've calculated. So assuming this is true, what would a of 2021 be equal to? We can substitute in, and then we can simplify. The fraction will be equal to 1,021,615 divided by 1,021,616. And that's the answer. Now to be 100% sure, we have to prove this formula is true. In order to do that, Let's rewrite the fractions. We'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, so we have n multiplied by n plus 1 minus 2 divided by n multiplied by n plus 1 plus 2. The other fraction will be the reciprocal of this. We will show this formula is true using mathematical induction. We've already shown it's true for some base cases, such as n is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4. Now suppose k is a natural number greater than or equal to 3. We need to show that if the formula is true for k, that it's true for k plus 1. We will split it up into two cases where k is odd and k is even. Suppose first that k is odd. a k plus 1 is equal to a k star k plus 1. Since k is an odd number, we can use the formula for a k by the induction hypothesis we'll substitute in. We now need to do some simplification. I'm going to skip over the nitty gritty details and just show you a couple steps of the proof. Here's one intermediate step, and then once we do simplification, we get the following fraction. This is exactly the fraction we want for ak plus one. So we've proven this step. Now we do the case where k is an even number. It's a very similar calculation. a k plus 1 is equal to a k star k plus 1. By the induction hypothesis, we know the formula for a k. We substitute in, 
and then we do simplification, and we show that the formula is in fact true for ak plus 1. So we verified this step. Thus, the formula is true, and that completes the proof. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.